Hi, welcome to Prompt Profit. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to produce a talking avatar just like me. In fact, I don't even exist yet, but if you stay tuned, you'll see step by step how I was created. First, we are going to create my character using Midjourney. To do that, we'll need to go to Discord. Okay, I'm going to assume you're already familiar with Discord. If not, you'll find plenty of tutorials about it on YouTube to get you started. You'll then want to join the Midjourney Discord server. Previously, Midjourney provided new users with free credits to try things out, but now that it's proved hugely popular, you'll need to sign up before you can use it to generate images. Stay tuned, and I'll show you how to subscribe. Once you're set up, you'll be able to create images directly within the Midjourney server, but that's not how I recommend you do things. It's great in that you can browse through the various general channels and see the prompts others have used to generate their images, but it does get very cluttered and new images are constantly being created, so it makes finding your own images very difficult. I therefore recommend you set up your own Discord server. That may sound like a fairly daunting thing to do, but trust me, it's very simple. Within Discord, click the plus symbol in the left-hand column to add a server. Click Create My Own, and then click either for me and my friends, or for a club or community, if you want to invite others to share your Midjourney account. You can customize the name of your server and upload an icon. I'll leave the icon for now and change the server name to Prompt Profit. Then click Create, and that's it. Your Discord server has been created. We next want to add the Midjourney bot to the server. To do this, we go back to Midjourney and left click on the Midjourney bot icon for any of the prompts. Then click the Add to Server button. Select the server you have just set up from the drop down. If this is the first Discord server you have set up, it will be the only one listed. Click Continue and then click on Authorize. Confirm you are a human and that's it set up. I told you it was simple. To confirm it's working, type forward slash imagine, and you should see the imagine prompt appear. All mid-journey images are created using this prompt. As I mentioned earlier, you will need to subscribe to mid-journey in order to use it to create images. To get to the subscription page, type forward slash subscribe, and it will redirect you out of Discord to the mid-journey website. Subscriptions start from $10 a month for the basic plan if you're paying monthly, which reduces to $8 a month if you pay for a year's access. It's now time to create our avatar, so let's jump back to our Discord server. Type forward slash imagine then at the prompt type a description of the character you're looking to create. In a future video, we'll do a deeper dive into what you can include in the prompt, but the latest version of Midjourney does a really good job, so for now, let's keep things fairly simple. Here's the prompt description that was used to create me. 3D character, cartoon character, male entrepreneur, casually dressed, facing the camera, full body portrait, super detailed, realistic, dynamic pose, 3DS Max. By default, it will take up to one minute for Midjourney to create your character. It creates four variations for you to choose from. The images gradually become clearer. Wow, for me, this is like being present at my own birth. There's me in the bottom right hand corner. We can see the characters better if we open the image in a browser. Number one looks okay, but a bit too stuck up. I don't like the cartoon style as much with number two, and he has some weird thing going on with his fingers. Three looks better, but again, the hands look weird. There's one too many fingers on that guy. Midjourney is better at hands than it used to be, but sometimes it still gets things wrong. Number four looks perfect to me. What a good looking guy he is. If you don't like any of the images, you can hit the regenerate button or click the buttons labeled V1 to 4 to create four new variations based upon any of the images. When you're happy with the look of your character, you can click the relevant U number to upscale the image. So, U4 will upscale the image of me. Midjourney calls it upscaling, but in actual fact, the original version with the four characters already generates the images at the same resolution as the upscaled version. Therefore, if you subscribed to the basic plan and don't want to use up one of your credits doing the upscale, you can pull the original set of four into a photo editing software and crop to your preferred character. I use PaintShop Pro. It's not a widely used program, but is ideal for quickly cropping the images. You'll be able to do a similar job using your preferred photo editing software. The full canvas size is 2048 by 2048, so by making the new canvas size 1024 by 1024, it will crop the image by a quarter. I want the image in the bottom right corner, so I select that for the placement, and now I have just the one character which is the same resolution as the upscaled image. If you like any of the other characters, you can repeat and specify a different corner placement to show each of them in turn. Just remember to save each with a different file name. Okay, great. We've now got our avatar character. Let's remove the image background so we can place it in any scene we want. There are plenty of ways to do this. 
You can use websites such as vanceai.com, runwayml.com, and cutout.pro, or it's even possible using the photo app on your phone. The website I prefer is ClipDrop by Stability AI. They provide a number of useful tools, including remove background and an image upscaler. They offer a free and pro plan. With the free plan, you can remove the background from an image up to 1024 by 1024. The image upscaler can double the size of your images up to a maximum size of 2048 by 2048. The pro plan offers some great additional benefits, but for what we need here, the free plan does just fine. Select Remove Background from the Tools menu. Drag your image into the space provided. And there it's gone. Simple. Then just download the file to your computer. I pull the new image back into Paint Shop Pro and add a raster layer to the image. I switch the image to the top layer and color the new layer green. This effectively provides me a green screen background that I can remove in my video editing software once I've done the lip sync with my audio. I need to create a background for my character. As he is an entrepreneur, I think Wall Street will make an ideal backdrop. In mid-journey at the Imagine prompt, I type Wall Street, New York, 3DS Max. Then to create the correct aspect ratio, I type minus minus AR16 colon 9. Let me speed up the image generation. In a similar way I did with the character, I'll open the image in the browser, then save it and pull it into PaintShop Pro where I can crop the image to the preferred backdrop and save that. The image resolution isn't as high as 1080p, but you can upscale it using the Clip Drop website or you can just resize it in your video editor. Now we need to give the character a voice. This can be done within the lip syncing software, but I prefer to use a separate site. Text-to-speech software has improved a great deal in recent years. Two of the best sites I've found are Eleven Labs and Play.ht. I'll be using Play.ht. I won't go into great detail about the software today, but if you'd like me to take a more in-depth look and compare the two, let me know in the comments below. Play.ht offer a choice between standard and premium voices or their ultra-realistic voices. I'm going to select one of the ultra-realistic ones. Here is the text I want to use for my introduction. The default voice is Larry. Let's click on Generate Previews and see how he sounds. It usually only takes a few seconds to generate the speech, but sometimes can be a bit slower. You can continue working while it is generating. Hi, welcome to Prompt Profit. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to produce a talking avatar, just like me. In fact, I don't even exist yet. But if you stayed tuned, you'll see step by step how I was created. The Larry voice sounds good, but it's not quite what I'm after for my character, so let's listen to a few of the others. Click on the name to pull up a selection screen of all the other voices to choose from. Currently, the ultra-realistic ones are only available in English-speaking voices. You can select from American, Australian, British of Canadian accents. I'm looking for an American male voice, so I'll filter the voices down to those. Click on the play button to get a preview of the voice. Like many other philosophers who have greatly extended... In today's video, we're going to explain how you can book... Elon Musk is the Steve Jobs of the... I'm not sure any of those sound right for me, so I'll scroll down a bit further. During new employee onboarding, managers should stick close to the employee to make sure they feel... Dick shows potential. I'll select his voice and see how it sounds with my introduction text. Click the Regenerate Preview button to create speech using the newly selected voice. While that's generating, let us listen to some other voices. Let's hear what Harold sounds like. Extreme success by definition lies beyond the realm of normal action. If you want to achieve extreme success, you can- That voice is a bit slow for my liking. We can adjust the speed and see how that sounds. Extreme success by definition lies beyond the realm of normal action. That doesn't sound any different, so I guess the preview is not taking the revised speed into account, which can sometimes happen. Let's select it and see how it sounds with our text. When selecting a new voice, you can choose to apply it to all paragraphs, just the current active one, or all instances of the current voice you're changing. We'll set Harold's voice generating while we listen to see how Dick sounded. Hi, welcome to Prompt Profit. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to produce a talking avatar just like me. In fact, I don't even exist yet, but if you stayed tuned, you'll see step by step how I was created.
That doesn't really sound like my voice. While waiting for Harold's voice to finish up, I'll start the other paragraph generating. I welcome to Prompt Profit. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to produce a talking avatar just like me. In fact, I don't even exist yet, but if you stay tuned, you'll see step by step how I was created. Now we're talking. That sounds just like my voice, but I don't like where the pauses are in the first sentence. We can try fixing that by splitting it into a separate paragraph. Let's regenerate the previews and see how they sound. Hi, welcome to Prompt Profit. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to produce a talking avatar just like me. In fact, I don't even exist yet, but if you stay tuned, you'll see step by step how I was created. That sounds much better. We can listen to the whole thing using the audio bar at the bottom of the screen. Hi, welcome to Prompt Profit. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to produce a talking avatar just like me. In fact, I don't even exist yet, but if you stay tuned, you'll see step by step how I was created. First, we are going to create my character using Midjourney. To do that, we'll need to go to Discord. Excellent. We are now ready to export the intro and lip sync it with our character. To create the talking avatar, I'm using the DID website. You can see there are some of the other characters I've created, including the ones from the other recent video posted on the channel. The first step is to import the green screen version of the character we created. Great, that imported successfully. With some cartoon style characters, the software is unable to recognize the facial features and fails to import the image. You can type or paste in your script and use one of the DID voices for your character. Simply select the preferred voice from the drop down list and have a listen to how it sounds. Hi, welcome to Prompt Profit. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to produce a talking avatar, just like me. I prefer to create the audio separately, as I think the voices are better and it enables me to use the same voice throughout the entire video without using up lots of the lip sync credits. I'll therefore select Upload Voice Audio and select the file I exported from play.ht. Hit play to ensure it's the correct file imported. Hi, welcome to Prompt Profit. In today's video... Okay, that sounds like the right file. So we're ready to create the video. The length of the audio is just over 15 seconds, so it's going to cost two credits to generate the video. The way the DID credits work is it costs one credit for each 15 second block create. It doesn't use fractions of a credit if you don't use the full 15 seconds. It is therefore going to be worthwhile to reduce the audio slightly so that it is just under 15 seconds. That way we will only use the one credit to create the video. A good free program for editing audio is Audacity. I'll drag our audio file into it and trim the blank sound from the end. That takes the file down to just under 15 seconds. We then jump back to DID, discard the old audio, and import the edited file. Now it's only going to cost the one credit to create the video. I'll therefore click Generate. It can take a few minutes for the video to be created. So normally I'd get on with something else while waiting. DID will send you an email when the file is ready. I'll speed up the video to save time. Okay, the file is ready, so let's take a look. Hi, welcome to Prompt Profit. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to produce a talking avatar just like me. In fact, I don't even exist yet, but if you stay tuned, you'll see step by step how I was created. First, we are going to create my character using Midjourney. To do that, we'll need to go to Discord. There's some weird stuff going on with the hair, but we can sort that out in editing so that it will hardly show. The lip sync looks really good. Did I mention what a good looking guy he is? I'll download the file and then we're ready to start editing the video. I'm using Camtasia to edit my videos, but you can use whichever software you prefer. DaVinci Resolve is a free program which should be able to do everything you need. First, I pull in the Wall Street background image and resize it to fill the 1080p screen. I then pull my character onto the timeline, scale him up to 100% and position him where I want him to stand. From the visual effect menu, I select remove a color and drag that onto the character. The default tolerance of 10% isn't enough, so I'll raise it to 66. That should do it. The hair issue is showing a bit, but unless you're particularly looking for it, I don't think you'd really notice. Okay, let's give that a play and see how it looks. Hi, welcome to Prompt Profit. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to produce a talking avatar just like me. After the initial introduction, there's no need to see me on screen while I'm demonstrating how to create my character in Mid Journey. As we created my voice in Play.ht, we can now continue to use it without the need to use more of our DID credits. It works out much cheaper to just create audio than it does to create a talking avatar. However, it's good to include snippets of the talking avatar throughout the video. I've used them to introduce each new segment of this recording. 
If the snippet doesn't last the full 15 seconds, you can combine two or more to make it up to a multiple of 15, i.e. 15, 30, 45 seconds, etc., to make best use of the credits. Here I download the audio for two of the paragraphs that I've created within play.ht. I then pull both clips into Audacity and combine them with a one second gap in between. The gap will help when splitting the clips during editing. I then create a few seconds of blank audio to take things up to 15 seconds. During the blank audio, DID won't make any lip movements, but the character will make other head movements, which can be useful to include within the video. The edited audio file can then be uploaded to the character in DID in the same way we did previously. If you intend to have more than one character on the screen at the same time, you may wish to record a full segment of blank audio so that you can have one character making head movements while they listen to the other character speak. This is a technique I used in my last video. We'll show you how you can create engaging... Watch how the guy's head moves while the female avatar is talking. We'll compare the best products on the market. Do deep dives into how to use and get the most from them. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you want to see more step-by-step -step tutorials, make sure to like the video and subscribe.